Hi, this is George Mills, developer of uh, V1 Driver. Uh, I'm going to show you another feature on um, V1 Driver. Uh, I think some people might be confused on it. Um, I call them Savvy Set Pins, where you can basically uh, learn your GP, your uh, Savvy Override settings on your route, and then uh, let it the, let the phone uh, basically automatically adjust your Savvy based on previously learned settings. Uh, based on location. So um, right now, let um, me bring up, let's see if I have it on. Okay, so I have uh, Savvy GPS Learn on, and I've got nothing on my map, and I've just so you know, I've set it to, uh, so I'm just going a short distance, I set it to 200 feet instead of the normal 650. Um, and my Savvy setting right now is on on default. It's on on 20 miles an hour. So um, if I just start driving, uh, actually let's let's um, yeah we'll leave it this way. I have two radar guns going on in my house, and we're gonna savvy override the K. Uh, in fact, there's the K right now. Um, so it's being uh, muted. Actually, it's it's high enough now. So, but we'll boop, pump it up anyway. So I set it up to 33. And if I go to the map, so you can just drop the pink pin. And if I just keep uh, driving, we keep dropping pink pins, uh, which are, those are the, those are the override setting that I want whenever I go that area um, with, the, um, with the V1 driver. Um, now it's going off right now because the K, the KA just kicked in, um, so it's still keeping the uh, the K muted. Um, so I'm going to leave that savvy going, and so now let's just for a heck of it, let's set it to another setting. Let's set it to 51, and let it drop a couple more pins, and then. If I go back here and I shut the savvy override off, it should not drop any more pins. Probably uh, shut the KA off and then it's kind of a pain going back to the house. So you can notice it's not dropping any uh, pins right now. So now, in order to use this, I have to take it out of learn mode because it doesn't know whether you're learning or can't magically know when you're learning or you want to relearn or whatever. So right now I'm going to go back to settings and shut the learning off. Now it'll use the savvy set pins when it sees them. So now um, let's wait till we get closer to them. Um, and this has to be, I believe, has to be on default for it to work. You have to just leave it in your pocket, let it be on default, and it will just adjust the savvy settings. If you override it, Again, it's going to say, oh, he doesn't want the settings in the map. He wants, he wants to adjust it further. So that's why I did it that way. Um, still haven't hit any savvy pins yet. So if I go back to my screen here, it should flip it. So you just flipped it to 33. Um, and let's keep driving here. Um, do a confirmation that it, if I override it, it will keep adjusting it. I think it won't touch it once you play with it. Now I bump, I, in this range, I bumped it up to 51. It should bump up in a second. So it just bumped up to 51, and then down here further, um, again, notice this is all being recorded at the top that I showed you on the other video. Uh, it should restore this back to normal. Yeah, now it just shut it off. Um, so it'll just do that all the time now. Um, now let's do one more pass, and I'm going to set this to some ridiculous number, 77, and we'll do 
another pass, just to confirm, I think it won't touch it. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that's right. Well over the speed limit. Seven. Staying on seventy-seven. Yeah, that's what it does. Override the learned pins, and it's not going to change the pins you have because we have the GPS savvy learning off. Uh, so it just stays there. If I flip this to default, it should flip it back to the automatic, and it just did. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty foolproof. Debating whether to add direction to it, which will complicate the software a little bit, uh, but it might be a necessary evil to do it properly. Uh, so that's it for this demo. Thanks for listening and watching.